12 News is your election headquarters, and tonight we're highlighting the race for the Groves Ward 4 City Council seat. Incumbent Rhonda Dugas is fighting to keep her seat from challengers Ray Shauna Gay and Kyle Hollier. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Clayver Rhodes. Jordan has the night off. 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman was able to speak with Dugas and Gay. We reached out to Hollier multiple times, but he refused to speak. Ebony joins us live from Groves tonight with the candidates' messages to voters. Ebony. Sorry, Clayton, incumbent Dugas is fighting for her third term, serving as Ward 4 councilman in that seat, while Gay is a newcomer who believes her strong ties in the community makes her the best fit for the job. Incumbent Rhonda Dugas, Ray Shauna Gay, and Kyle Hollier are all hoping voters will elect them to represent Ward 4 on Grove City Council. I believe that they should re-elect me because I have been true and honest with them. For almost four years, Gay has owned a small beauty business. She believes the city could use fresh blood. I am bringing fresh ideas um, to, the, to the city and I feel like there needs to be some change. 12 News reached out to the race's third candidate, Kyle Hollier, multiple times, but he refused to participate in this piece. Meanwhile, Gay believes her long list of accomplishments and community mindset will help her stand out at the polls. I host uh, quarterly events at my shop, trying to collaborate some businesses to get together. I've won Small Business of the Year. Um, I'm on the Senior Citizen Board. Dugas says her 50 years working in accounting and bookkeeping gives her an upper hand. The uh, studying with the IRS rules and laws and regulations and things like that prepared me very well for understanding uh, different government ways of doing things and their financial system. Dugas says if re-elected, she plans to bring new solutions about costly utility upgrades and freedom of speech at council meetings. We need to get the wastewater treatment plant fixed without putting our grandchildren and great-grandchildren in tremendous debt. I want them to be able to come to city council uh, under citizen comments and say whatever they want. Gay says her main focus will be more support for small businesses. We want small businesses to come here and want to stay here. Um, it's not really the case right now. The Groves Activity Center is the only early voting location here in the city. It'll be open tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. In Groves, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.